A former member of the Bush 41 administration says the government is bloated and out of control, but there's still hope. Boyd and Gray is on a speaking tour laying out how the government can be reined back in. He says it starts in the courts. And, and a successful model is to bring some litigation that really sticks, that the courts grab hold of, that the Supreme Court ultimately acts on, like health care, like Obamacare, and the public then becomes educated. Gray says if not for court cases, the media would likely never mention some major issues. The so-called MSM, mainstream media, uh, is pretty um, permissive, and they are not really uh, getting on top of any of this. Uh, the IRS has kind of got their attention a little bit, but um, it, it's going to take some court action to really uh, shake things up. He points to the current controversy involving the IRS targeting conservative nonprofits. Take the IRS, for example. I don't think that that would have become uh, a public, a major public issue if it hadn't been for uh, some lawsuits that were filed to complain on, on behalf of the groups that had been um, disadvantaged. If those lawsuits hadn't been filed, there are two basic sets, if they hadn't been filed, I don't think the public would know anything about this. And the public won't really understand until those lawsuits are completed. Gray says the public is still in control and has the power to act. Uh, ultimately, it's going to have to go get into the electoral process. It's going to have to get into the election of, of, of public officials from the president on down. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.